Hello, welcome back to Otter Pop Culture, and today it is Monday, which means Movie Mondays is the 14th episode of it. I know it's been a while, but I am trying to collect as much as, watch as much movies and TV shows as, as fast as I can, we, coming up to the release, and I feel like it's so many, there's been at least like 10 plus movies, or 5 plus movies, I guess, um, in shows that I'm trying my best to kind of capture, but they're just releasing every week, so thank you so much for your patience. Um, but anyway, so in this show, or in this episode, we're going to be talking about the Netflix original series called Why Are You Like This? This actually is pretty much about these two best friends, Mia, uh, Mia and Penny, who go to set out the rights of all the wrongs in the world, but they're blissfully ignorant towards how they affect other people and the torment that they apply to those other people that they are righting the wrongs for. Um, this was created by Mark uh, Samuel ba uh, Bonanno. Bonanno. Um, he is a part of the group called, or comedy group called um, Auntie, or Auntie Donna. And they have a series on Netflix called Auntie Donna's Big Old House of Fun. So he created this, and I definitely can feel it coming th through that, but I'm very conflicted because it has... I feel like it has a lot of potential, and I think it is fun. I think it's six episodes, so you can kind of go right through it. It's like 20 minutes, episode two. Um, but they're so, they're really fun. They are fun. I think it's just, there's a potential that is not really being taken advantage of in this show. Um, so this pretty much consists of three people that, in the cast, um, Penny, Mia, and their roommate, Austin. So, Penny is, is played by Naomi uh, Hedgens. She's been in Utopia and Get Kraken. Um, Mia is played by uh, Olivia uh, Junkier, who's played, who's done Neighbors, which is fun, um, and Aaron Burroughs High. And also, Austin has played, is being played by Will Kane, who's done Fragile and La uh, Lavender. Two movies I haven't seen, but I'm definitely gonna get into eventually, because they sound, I always think that simple, um, Movies always turn out to be something very, very big for some reason. Anyway, um, so this takes place in Melvin. It's really, really beautiful. I love the high. I love the setting of everything because it gives me that feel of of approach of kind of like Broad City meets um, Please Like Me in that kind of bubble where it's just like everything kind of get everything is very kind of in your, not in your face, but kind of there. So you're noticing the surroundings, but you're also noticing the way that they work the surroundings. And I think that is something I really like about Broad City and Please Like Me and this show too. So yeah, I'm just very conflicted because I feel like the the potential, the whole idea is them of being, of these three people is that they're very, very woke and cl including, it's even more so is Penny and they're going around and trying to, like, do all these, say things, like, if somebody says something, they'll, like, be the first thing to say something, like, oh, you can't say that, and working on, or talking to people and co as co-workers who are being ignorant towards certain causes and whatever, but in the end of it, you start seeing that they take it way too far, and to the point where they don't really realize that some people, like, for example, there's a part where, um, this isn't really spoiled, because I don't think this spoils anything, because you have to see how it works out. Where Penny accuses somebody of being homophobic, but turns out they are they are they are gay themselves, kind of thing. But you don't find that to the very, very, very end. Um, I think that's kind of a nice little nod to like understand that there's certain people that don't that just because you just because you're woke doesn't or just because you have a knowledge of what's going on doesn't mean you understand other people's situations. And I think that's what this pretty much this show is satiring into. Um, this show actually pull is a is a spinoff, or I guess it won the, um, sorry, let me back up to explain this whole thing. So this mo this show comes from, um, a different other comedy series called, uh, Fresh Blood, where they bring in, uh, where they screen, like, different, uh, comedians and producers that are, that are into comedy, and they put little snippets, uh, they get, like, a minute of snippets of, like, doing whatever they want to do kind of thing. Um, for their show, and if they, their show gets approved from that group, or like, oh, I can see potential of this actually being a really good sh full-on show, then they'll win for, they'll pretty much get a green light to do that show full-on. 
And so it reminds me, if any, if, uh, it reminds me pretty much of what we have in America called Cake, where they do artists, artists and comedians are coming in the same time to kind of showcase their stuff, and one, and once in a while, one of that, one of those people will get pulled from the lineup to get their own show, which is really cool. And I'm very glad that this happened. I really, really hope there's a second season to this, because it's so good. There's no spoilers in it. I don't want to spoil anything, because it's pretty short, and everything kind of happens. Like, very broad city in a way, where it's just like, there's no, there's no overarching agenda entirely. It's more of just, it's more of an each situational thing each time. Um, so yeah, I do, I do like it. I really, really hope it gets a second season. I can feel it not getting one, due to the fact I don't really hear much people talk about it, and due to the fact that it is an Australian show, so... Amer Australian shows and American industry doesn't really hit as, doesn't really mingle well for some reason, which is, really sucks. Um, but that's pretty much it. I give this, uh, show a... I give it a 4 out of 5. I really, really feel like it has so much potential, and I really, really hope it gets picked up, because if it does get picked up, we can easily see... I feel like there's a chance that they'll see, like, oh, there is more potential, more shit we can talk about, and more stuff we can kind of add to make this much more solid of a show. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Leave a comment below, tell me if you heard of this show or not. If you liked it or you didn't like it, let me know. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell too, so you get more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.